in this episode, we head to Loveland, Colorado for the 2022 Overland Expo Mountain West, where we're going to be showing you all the different vehicles that were on displays, plenty of Broncos, plenty of classics, full-size pickup trucks, also many Overland trailers. I was really excited to see that and other vehicles that we haven't seen on the trails that were really interesting to see out on the exposition and also an EV classic truck. So stick with us until the very end and enjoy this video. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our channel. We are at Overland Expo West Mountain West actually and we are in Loveland Colorado today we're just getting ready to walk in show you guys what's going on here we're so excited this is one of our favorite events in the year so let's go see what they brought this year uh, let's go check out the rigs There's so many rigs here. This is amazing. Holy cow. Look at that stance. Look at those lights. All right, so we got some high campers here. We got some sprinter vans. There's a ram van. Um, here's the micro mini FXL. These are really cool. So you guys remember we do have our RV on our property in the mountain. There's a lot more this year than there was last year. I feel like it, I guess anyways. We got some Subarus, Rhino Rag, Look at that big American flag. Holy cow. <laughs> Come on, can't have water. <laughs> All right. This is what I really want to see. Oh, look. A Jeep is sick. That looks really cool. All right. Turtle back. Trailers. Oh, this thing is nice. Super high, though. Really, really nice. You can only sleep in there. Oh no, it's just storage. That also looks awesome. Maybe I should do something like that on our trailer. Look at this. This is what I'm lacking on my trailer. A good battery system. Looks like we've got a really nice cabinet system. Sweet. Come here. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go check out some other ones. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, we got some more turtle back. Sorry, Milo keeps pulling me. He's going crazy when he sees other dogs. <laughs> But uh, we got another turtle back trailer here. These things are so nice. Very well built. Very well built. Um, I like them. I wish I could afford them. Look at those fingers. It almost works as a, uh, this looks like it was meant to carry kayaks, that's nice. Oh 
we got a nice ram here guys you don't know this about us but we do own a ram <laughs> uh it's a work truck check out this porsche right here wow that thing is nice it looks like it's lifted it's running maybe 33s that's nice b locks this thing is really nice A different platform than what we're used to but that's just goes to say you know you don't have to have a toyota or your jeep to get your overlanding done okay what we got here just a toyota tacoma check this out oh. kind of cool we don't really need this in colorado but it's really nice to have it AC at camp. <laughs> That's awesome. Solar panels. And we got a nice teardrop back here too. That is so awesome. It is. Oh, don't tell me it's solar powered. That is really cool. I know what you're thinking. This is just glamping. And you might be right, but someone down in the south camping in 121 degree weather in the desert would really appreciate one of those. All right, let's move on to the big boys ford f550s there's plenty of these rigs here at the show and as you can see some of these rigs are starting to be introduced to the overland lifestyle however this is not for everyone obviously these come with a really high price ticket and there's plenty of these here i saw at least five or six and so it's nice to see them being introduced to the overland lifestyle they're very capable, very powerful. However, I do think that they're too wide for some of the trails that we get to do with our Jeeps. But what do you think? Would you guys ever get one of these for yourselves for the zombie apocalypse? Maybe if you want to go do some glamping in Alaska or some rough terrain like that, let me know in the comments section. So here is the Hummer EV truck. We saw this truck here last year as well. It looks like this time they put a tent on top of it. I haven't seen these out on the road yet. I'm not sure if they're just not selling or they're just not out for sale yet. But this could be a really cool platform. Again, I think with some of these electric vehicles, the infrastructure is just not there yet but it would be interesting to see them out on the trail when the infrastructure is there this is a uh, interesting looking vehicle it's not a bad looking vehicle but i just prefer my jeep so here we have another electric vehicle this electric SUV, it's a really good looking vehicle. I think it has a lot of potential. You could see some roof racks and a rooftop tent being put on this bad boy. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Would you guys get an electric vehicle for your overlanding adventures if the infrastructure was there? Ah, uh, yes, Toyotas, Toyotas, and more Toyotas. We got the new Tundras here on display. From what I've heard, people are really loving these trucks. These are the new 2022 Toyota Tundras. And you can see that this is an aloe cap here. I've always liked these platforms. I think it's so cool. Whoever came up with this design, it's an aluminum uh, top that you can put on the back of your truck. And I think there's a couple of them that you can use on your Jeep as well. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But I really like all of the um, gadgets that it comes with uh you can see the awning the 360 awning on some of these here's another tundra 
and this one looks like it's all decked out so pretty happy to see some of these trucks starting to make it into the overlanding lifestyle i'm sure we're gonna see some of them on the trail as time goes on I really like this color. Got a nice new color. My wife would love it. These things are so darn cool. I definitely would want something like this. Let's go check them out. We're gonna interview the guy too. Let's try to get some more information out of him. These things are so awesome. There's the Max fan. So cool. All right, let's go check out the kitchens. Look at that. Oh, how cool is that? Can you pull this out? Guys, this is awesome. Now this is up my alley here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. How cool is that? Yeah, Okay. Look at this. That's awesome. All right, let's go talk to these guys. All right, so we got Robbie here with uh, Hiker Trailers. And uh, he's going to tell us a little bit more about these trailers. And uh, you guys know that I am interested in getting a new trailer. So tell us more about the models yeah. you have here. Sure, absolutely. So Hiker Trailer is a little unique in the market because okay. we have four different models that are each capable of different levels of camping and off-roading. Gotcha. Um, for example, if you want to look at this trailer here, this is our mid-range XL. Okay. This is our moderate heavy off-roader. Okay. Um, but this is built on our kind of regular platform, so it's very budget-friendly and budget Okay. Um, but we do have 265 tires, gotcha. an integrated yeah. two-inch lift kit. Okay. Um, we've reinforced and lengthened the tongue a little bit, so this is still really capable. Okay. But as far as the budget and price point that our trailers come in at, it, it's going to be hard to beat in the market with something that is kind of this off-roady and uh, yeah. this kind of overland capable. So okay. um, the unique thing about Hiker also is all of the accessories that you see in our trailers, the solar power, water, air, AC, all of those options you can mix and match and kind of pick your own a la carte based on your build, on your model. Yeah. So we find a lot of people are already in this lifestyle in some point or another and already have a lot of the existing gear. Okay. So instead of having to buy a trailer that has the kitchen and the fridge and everything already included, you can build your trailer around what gear you already have and what you intend to use. Yeah. Or we can obviously build that for you if you'd like us to, if you want to get into it that way. But, awesome. Um, our trailers are more of a platform that you can continue to build on yes. and continue to trick out and you know add the latest and greatest. I'm a gadget guy myself, so like in this trailer here, we're running this one off of the Roll Zero now. So we have a 1500X back here, and that 12 volt 10 amp carport is running the entire trailer, the max fan, all the lighting. Um, we've even run fridges off of that port before. Okay. So you know we're really versatile. Anything that you can kind of think of, we can kind of do or have an option for it. Okay. You know, Sweet. It just kind of depends on what people are looking for, really. Yeah, this one's a little bit more decked out, so upgraded wheels and... Yeah, so this is our mid-range. So this is our most popular model. This is kind of the light to moderate off-roading. Okay. Um, the nice thing about our trailers, too, is if you do go with, like, something that's a moderate off-roader, you're still going to be able to fit this in your garage. You're not going to have to find a storage space or right. keep it at a friend's house or anything like that. Um, and again, the price point, because we're custom, I can't really say, hey, this trailer costs this. I would say our average builds for a, a good, you know, well-built trailer is anywhere from like fourteen to 18000 okay. um, And we can go up from there if you want all the bells and whistles for sure. But, sure. Um, you know, our basic trailers start in about the $6,000 range for just kind of a, a bare shell with a couple add-ons that you can then, you know, modify yourself or, you know, come back to us over the months and years and we can keep upgrading for you too. Awesome. Great. Sweet. And so what about um, the more upgraded version? Sure. This guy right here. So this is our extreme off-road. This okay. is kind of the heavy duty boy, so to speak. This okay. is for your really high speed overlanding, yes. washboarding, Moab Desert, that sort of stuff. Okay. Um, this model here actually has our airbag suspension upgrade. Okay. Now we'll just walk over there. 
so it doesn't have the air brake suspension, so you can kind of adjust the ride firmness if you wanted to. Okay. Um, but it also comes with a straight axle with leaf springs and shocks as a standard. Oh, that's um, awesome. It's a 4,500 pound axle that's derated to 3,500 pounds. Yes. The 3,500 pound axle we find for the size of our teardrops is kind of that butter zone. Okay. So um, that's what you'll find on the other models that we have as well. The other platforms, um, and before I actually get into that, so on the off-road model, you can see there's some extra green parts that we add onto this, yeah. like the rear storage rack, the yeah. brush guards in the front. We have the integrated rack that's actually under the fridge box and fridge in the front. Okay. Um, so that's why this one's a little different. It's definitely a slightly higher price point. Yes. But you can still enter the market with a unit like this for about twelve to thirteen thousand. That's not bad. Um, that's not bad at all. This one, as it's built, is about thirty-four thousand. But this says oh yeah, fridges, the fridge box, hundred amp hour lithium battery. I mean, yeah, anything oh, you can think of, this will kind of have it. Yeah. Um, but the nice thing about Hiker is this is our fully tricked out model. Yeah. That's kind of what the entry point is for some of the other teardrop manufacturers out there. Okay. Um, in that range, and then they, they go up from there. So. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much for the interview, and um, I'm sure you guys will enjoy this. We'll yeah. show you more. Yeah, we um, have a location here in Lafayette, Colorado, okay. and our main factory is out in Columbus, Indiana, so we have two locations yes. that we directly control. Okay. Um, we sell direct to consumer. Um, our ordering process is very easy. You can submit a quote online. Okay. It's $500 down. The rest is do a pickup. We don't make people do a second deposit or anything like that. Okay. Um, and we can deliver to your front door nationwide if you'd like us to. So. Awesome. Awesome. So where can they find you? Hikertrailers.com is our website, or you okay. can visit us at one of our locations. All right. Um, and if you wanted to get a build, uh, a build to custom unit, it's about a three-month wait. Okay. Uh, 60 to 90 days is kind of the going back zone right now for our custom builds, but we also do have a few stock models if you're interested that you can kind of pick up right away. Okay, sweet. Well, thank you so much for the interview, and uh, we're going to continue to walk around and uh, show you guys these awesome trailers. Sounds Probably good. my favorite. I appreciate Thanks you. Hey guys, we got Grady here, and he's gonna walk around the Suburban and show us what he's doing here. And you got a YouTube channel too, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's just uh, Sub Overland. Okay. That's the company name, so I'm the owner at Sub Overland. Okay. And pretty much we take used Suburbans and then we refurbish them, so all the mechanical, and then we build them out with all our wood package. Okay, so you wanna kinda tell us what's going on here um, and how this built got started? Yeah, so this one just started, this is an 05 Suburban. Okay. Uh, we do all the suspension, so like, you know, Bilstein, shocks and all that, all the suspension. Sweet. Tires, BFG, 33 inch tires, do all the fluids, yada, 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 all that stuff. Get it all ready for the client. Okay. And then we got the interior, kind of like van built. Okay. And so you can see like on the ceiling, we've got like ship lap. All right. Um, we insulate it all. Here's on the side cubbies. So these are all storage cubbies. Yes. And then we have here like our drawer system. Look at so that. Oh out. gosh, and cool. they just go all the way back. That's a lot of storage. You've got tons of storage and it just slides out. Uh, this is about a full size bed. Okay. Inside. Awesome. Uh, a mattress. Nice. And then uh, walk around in the front here. Okay, let's go to the front. Oh, how cool is it that he can just walk in? <laughs> so, they're big Suburbans, and they're small, but they're big. So okay. this is the, definitely a full-size, you know, rig. Um, so inside, the uh, the drawers can come forward like that. Okay. So you have access to your things, and then it extends the bed platform. Oh, so gotcha. You, can, you know, put down the mattress. You know, so oh, the, I see. Okay. Because yeah, it's kind of it's too short for most people. Got Not it. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Um, in the back, so like this is the remote for the uh, RV fan, so you know, just oh, an wow. event fan. Yeah. What like you is used in like van builds. Okay. Light switch, so you got like our little recessed LED light. All right. 
This is uh, made by EcoFlow. This is you know, just a solar generator that you've seen. Uh, 2,000 watt hours, so it's a big old generator. And uh, we plug, we, we run our fan and our light and everything off of this. Okay. And then this is the fridge. Oh, sweet. So you've got, you know, it's a Dometic. Uh, oh, yes. 25. A lot of people use this. Okay. It fits perfectly where the console was. <laughs> How awesome is that? So it's nice. You're driving down the road. These are window inserts that we make. So okay. it's all blacked out. Awesome. But yeah, that's pretty essentially the build. Awesome. And what I really like about this build is that you can pretty much just park anywhere with this thing and then just call it a night. And then, you know, it's pretty much like a van. I mean, there's so much room in these Suburbans that, um, and you don't only do these kind of Suburbans, right? You would, you would, you would work on newer Suburbans and, yes. and okay, cool. Yeah, we're, awesome. We're open to more custom work too, even if like, you know, you've got like a Jeep or whatever, right? Okay. And, yes. So stuff like that. I've always wanted to do more custom stuff with like, Toyota awesome. stuff and different things too, or bands. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. So if people want to find you, where can they find you? Um, we have a website, just suboverland.com. I do okay. a bunch on Instagram, right. YouTube, and different other platforms, but just look up suboverland and you'll find us there. All right. So, sweet. So make sure you look them up on uh, YouTube. And thanks so much for the interview. I appreciate it. Cool. I am definitely seeing a lot more Toyotas than I am seeing Jeeps or anything else. But again, I think that the Overland uh, lifestyle is kind of turning into a vehicle supported, um, obviously it's always been a vehicle supported uh, sport or adventure. But we're starting to see a lot more of these uh, Toyotas and Broncos, which are such a cool platform for it. Now, there were a couple of teardrops at the show. I'm not a big fan of the look of the teardrop. I'm more of the square drop kind of guy, like the hiker trailers, but to each their own. And, of course, there was plenty of overland trailers, including this big overland trailer here, which I think you would need a bigger vehicle to pull this trailer. Full-size pickup trucks are becoming a huge part of this event, and although not budget-friendly, they could be a great addition to your overland experience if your budget allows for it. All right, now this is my favorite rig of this entire show. This is a 1965 Ford F100, and this was converted into an electric truck. These are Tesla batteries under the hood here, and this is entirely an electric vehicle. I started to follow this build on YouTube just about a week ago, and it's so cool that I get to see it now in person here at the show. Uh, now I am gonna keep up with this build as it goes forward. I know that this is fully electric now. This was put together by a group of folks in Arizona and i'm gonna bring you more information about this vehicle because i think it's so cool especially now seeing all these electric vehicles at the show Okay. You got a Jeep? Got a Jeep yeah, we do have a Jeep. <laughs> okay. Not that many Jeeps who come across have these many badges. Check this out. Holy cow. That is cool. It's got a 3.0 turbo diesel. Sweet. Great looking rig. Okay. 
And the tires are really nice. Oh, that's awesome. Look at this. Belts in this whole show. And it is for sale $90,000. <laughs> yeah, these are nice. Toyota on 40s, 42s. Holy moly. Yeah. Alright, guys, so here's the owner of this beautiful Toyota here. Uh, I'm a Jeep guy, but I do like this one. <laughs> I am a Jeep guy. <laughs> All right, so um, so you got this stock. Okay, so tell us more about the build. Uh, it's a 2016 Trail uh, 4Runner. Okay. Uh, originally, we built the solid axle first, and then we did the rear end. It's a Curry rear end. Uh, Curry makes it for Tacoma. So we had to adapt it and, and make it work with the 4Runner, but it wasn't that bad. Okay. And then, uh, once all that stuff was built and done, we supercharged the 4 liter that was in it. Oh, wow. It had a Marlin box in it at the time. Okay. And then uh, it worked well, you know. All right, uh, sweet. We used it a lot that way. And uh, over the years, everybody's like, you know, what are you going to do to it next? Uh, <laughs> we bought a Tundra one day and gutted it and threw a 5.7 in it. Oh, with nice. The, with the supercharger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an animal now. It's like 500 horses a wheel. Nice. Nice, I love it. And you're running 40s here. I thought they were 42s for a minute because they just look massive. Um, and I am running 40s on my Jeep, but uh, I guess it's just a different kind of tire. That look really nice. Awesome. Yeah, those, what? Those Toyos, man, they do a great job. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I started with the with the 35 Toyo uh, MTs, and they lasted me forever. So, so yeah, well, thanks, man. We appreciate it. Great looking rig. Thanks. Toyota Land Cruisers did not disappoint this year. They are so beautiful. I love classics. Free Spirit Recreation brought their tents out this year and they did not disappoint either. This is their line of rooftop tents that they offer on their websites, gofsr.com. And I am really happy with the Free Spirit Recreation 
tent that we have. I actually bought that five years ago and I've been pretty happy. I got to know uh, some of the team members on, at Free Spirit Recreation and I've been really happy with our rooftop tent. It's been one of the tents that has lasted the most. These are a little bit pricier, but they are definitely worth every penny of it. And come on, look at some of these tents. They're just so nice. Okay, so I've been walking around for a little while and uh, yeah, this place is pretty cool. This year actually has been really Ooh, what is that sound? I'm not sure what that is. Anyways, but a lot more rigs this year. Um, I am surprised at the lack of Jeeps that we're not seeing this year here. But um, I am seeing a lot more Toyotas, a lot more Rams and full-size pickup trucks. So, I don't know, maybe that's what you're into. I still love our Jeeps. So my wife is taking care of Milo. It's actually about 90 degrees out here, so he's having a hard time. Well guys, that's going to be it for us here today at Overland Expo 2022. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching, for the constant support. We can't wait to bring you guys another video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.